Meantime, pandemic overtime pay remaining a big controversy in Erie County. A new report this week claimed the Erie County Health Commissioner illegally collected more than $300,000 in overtime since the start of the pandemic. And as reporter Hannah Bueller found out, Erie County is one of the only counties in the state paying overtime to its health commissioner. Outgoing Erie County Controller Stefan Mahailu is asking the New York State Inspector General to look into the more than $300,000 in overtime and comp pay his office says Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein has collected since the pandemic began. In a search of dozens of counties statewide, 7 Eyewitness News found only one other county health commissioner or health director who has also received overtime during the pandemic. Public records show nurse practitioner Kimberly Kaplan in Green County in the Catskills made $3,100 in pandemic overtime in 2020. Dr. Burstein, who is a salaried non-union employee, earned a base pay of $207,292 in 2020 and $209,044 this year. The Comptroller's Office says her overtime and comp payment over the two-year period paid $336,000 $148, bringing her total county payment over the two years to more than $752 thousand dollars. The Polling Cars Administration says the county is using federal CARES Act funding to cover overtime costs in the county tied to the pandemic. Certainly over time, um, we had some relative to the pandemic on none with regards to our health commissioner. We took the question to other counties in New York State to see how they have operated during the pandemic when it comes to pay for health directors or commissioners. Onondaga County, home to Syracuse, has a population of more than 500,000. Democratic County Comptroller Marty Masterpole says his health commissioner, Dr. Indu Gupta, did not receive any overtime during the pandemic because she is a salaried employee. Employee. Her annual salary is $258,866. Hours are 70 hours per pay period of two weeks, so 35 hour work week. Um, although I'm sure Dr. Gupta worked more than 35 hours in many weeks, uh, you know, between the pandemic and shutdowns and press conferences and, you know, relaying out information, she seemed like she was everywhere all the time but um you know that comes with the territory closer to home in niagara county public health director dan stapleton also did not receive any overtime according to see through new york he earned a salary of one hundred twenty two thousand three hundred twenty four dollars in 2020. I checked with Monroe County, home to Rochester, which has a population similar in size to Erie. A spokesperson told me Monroe County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza is also a salaried employee and is therefore not eligible for overtime or additional pay. I also checked with Albany County, which is home to another large population center upstate. A spokesperson said in Albany County, no commissioner, director or deputy commissioner is permitted to collect overtime pay or receive comp time. We asked Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars Tuesday why Dr. Burstein is one of the only county health leaders in the state to receive overtime pay. He did not answer the question, instead attacking the media for reporting on the county controller's report and attacking the outgoing controller for issuing it in the first place. This is not appropriate. It is unfair. Hell, it's probably even anti-Semitic knowing him because he's not criticizing anyone else. He's just criticizing our Jewish health commissioner. It's over with. And I hope the rest of the media understands that whatever bullshit he's gonna push over the next few days, remember, he's being paid by Big Dog Strategies to be a paid political operative, and he might be paid right now. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Again, while salaried positions are typically exempt from overtime, non-union managers are allowed to collect overtime for their work related to COVID-19 under the CARES Act.